lounging. I'm just going to go to my favourite local plant shop today, which is called Gravel Pit. And I thought I'd give you a little tour of the plant shop and show you what they've got in stock. So carry on watching if you'd like to see. Okay, so I'm re-recording this voiceover because you couldn't hear me in the actual video audio. But starting at the back of the shop is Gravel Pit's plant pot room. I wanted a couple of plant pots of specific sizes, so I actually brought a tape measure with me and I basically spent a lot of time measuring the diameter of plant pots. Lots of the pots did have a sticker on saying what size they were, it was easier for me just to measure them myself so that I knew it was consistent. There were all sorts of colours and styles of pots, including normal pots and hanging pots and pots to attach to a wall. I get quite a lot of my pots from Gravel Pit because it's easy for me to buy a pot to go with a new plant and I quite like to see pots in person rather than buying online. In the next room we had the start of the plants as well as Gravel Pit's homewares and some of their records. We had a few bigger pots and square pots in here as well. This palm was £64. I'm not sure what exactly it is but the leaves kind of remind me of an umbrella plant. They also have a few snake plants and I think this pothos is the happy leaf variety but they were £12.50 each including their pot. They also have ZZ plants and Gravel Pit is where I got my Raven ZZ plant from. On the opposite side of this room they have more homewares for sale. There was also this fern which I think is a bird's nest fern but it was £11. They also had a big upright devil's ivy pole which was £30. And near to this were some neon pothos and a philodendron micans, which was £20 and in a nice hanging pot. There was also a big staghorn fern and a few asparagus ferns on the shelf. So moving round to the records and more plants. There were lots of these gorgeous rattan baskets in four different sizes and ranging in price from £8 to £20. I have a couple of these for some of my bigger plants and they're a really nice quality of basket. Above that there was another big asparagus fern and pot, I think for sale for £58 and a couple of Fetonia which were £4.50 each. I really liked that one on the right which had sort of jagged edges and looks more veiny than regular petonias but there was also another big upright pothos with new growth. Going along you can see lots of local art on the walls which is for sale and a few hanging pots. I think there were Hoya linearis, some regular English ivy and also a massive staghorn fern there which was £35. Then into the front of the shop is where the rest of the plants are. So taking you round on this little shelving unit there are little cacti which are £2.50 each and bigger ones for £5. Then going down I can see Kalanchoe hot lips, more asparagus ferns, I think some Sansevieria and crocodile ferns too. On this shelf there was a real variety with Hawthia, Croton, Green Axalis, Piliopepamoides, Tradescantia, Monstera and Sansevieria. One thing Gravel Pit is known for is their cacti in beer cans. And you can see that on the right hand side of this shelving unit which runs along the front of the shop. The little string of hearts was £6.50 and I'm assuming that this pothos here was also £12.50 like those in the previous room but I couldn't see a price sticker on them this time. So going round to the next wall there were a few different types of rubber tree 
also some alocasia. I think there's a Sabrina and a Stingray. There's also a lone Anthurium clarinervium. And then hanging down were, I think, more Hoya, maybe a lipstick plant, and a big fishbone cactus. Then there's regular Monstera deliciosa and Calathea medallion. I was still measuring plant pots, and they have these smaller ones just beneath the till. So this part here is my vice, so they have lots of mini plants right beside the till. I can never resist these little ones. <laughs> so from left to right, the first tray are £4.50 and they include pilia, string of beads and string of turtles. Then in the next tray, there's mini succulents for £3 each. I think that first one is some sort of sedum, and then the other is a cute little grey coloured sinicio. Then moving along, the Tradescantia Nanook are £4.50 each and looked in really healthy, good condition. And the small Calathea and Monstera Adansoniae, which has really nice fenestration, are £6 each. And then they had some more Fetonia, including that jagged edge one, and they were £4.50. I'm back from Gravel Pit now, and I thought I'd show you what I bought. So I got two pots and one plant. So starting with the two pots, which are both wrapped up in tissue. I bought this sort of funky, almost pointy, uh, pinkish kind of pot. This was five pounds, um, and I think it's about nine centimeters diameter, which is what I was after. So I'm going to put my new Calathea Beauty Star, which I showed you in my latest haul video. Um, I'm going to put that in here. You can see the nice pink shades. It's also got other colours in there, like orange and sort of purpley colour. And I just think the bumps on it make it look really interesting. This is the second plant pot I bought. This is 10 centimetres diameter and was 4 99 It's got this sort of lovely stripey kind of design. And it's kind of white and then an almost like a shiny kind of coppery colour if you can see that and then at the bottom it's um i don't even know what to call it it's sort of a, a greyish brown that is still a bit shiny um but yeah i think it looks uh, really cute and it would kind of go with i guess any colour plant whereas with the pinkish one i might not want to put a like red plant in there but this one I think would go with all the plants. The final thing I bought was the only plant. That is this Sinichio. I'll unwrap it so you can see it better. And I'll just put it in this pot now. There you go, you can see that better now. So this is a Sinichio Mont Blanc and it is properly white it's a really interesting plant the leaves on it are sort of hairy really soft it feels like something covered with like flocked velvet that kind of texture not a sort of normal plant texture at all some of the leaves have come off which is typical of sinichios but i quite like propagating succulents so i'll give that a go this plant was £8 and given that it is perfectly fitting into this 10cm pot I'm going to guess that it's in a 10cm nursery pot. I think this plant looks really lovely and really different to the other plants that I've got so I'm really happy to own it. Thanks for watching this video, I hope that you enjoyed having a look around gravel pit with me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!